All right, friends, spring is almost here, and I want to give you a quick update about our family and ministry. First of all, I want to share with you about Good Soil. That's the evangelism and discipleship seminars that we've been doing since September. We've had two uh, seminars this year already, one in Kiev, Ukraine, the other in Kremenchug, central Ukraine. And our next seminar is planned for this weekend. So please pray Friday and Saturday here in our home church. I'll be helping lead that seminar. And also pray that we'd have more guys that can lead these seminars because one of the problems that we're having is we just don't have enough trained men who are able to lead these seminars. The demand is more than we can meet right now, which I guess is a good thing. Praise the Lord. Another thing we can praise the Lord for is that we had a great missions class here recently at our International Training Center. It had 23 students four professors, and they were doing all kinds of cross-cultural things, dressing up and uh, trying different traditions and things. But the point of it is, this was a prerequisite for these students who want to go on a cross-cultural missions trip this summer. They're going to be going from Ukraine to Moldova and working with a church there to do some evangelism. So pray for these students, especially who are going to be going this summer to Moldova that the Lord would use them and you know it's it's pretty exciting to see some of them get excited to do missions uh, these are Ukrainians going out to do missions also pray for Christina March 26th she's going to be speaking at uh, South Ukraine Women's Conference there's probably going to be about 150 women there and she's going to be speaking on the topic of fellowship with God so I know she'd appreciate your prayers as she prepares for that and for the women who will be coming to that conference as well also, uh, this evening, I'm starting something uh, new in our church. I'm going to be doing five lessons on preaching, and uh, the church has asked me to do that. We have about 15 guys who preach in our church, so pray for me as I teach these guys how to preach uh, so that they can effectively and accurately teach God's Word to, to God's people. Uh, pretty excited about that. And then finally, I know I asked for this before, but continue to pray for our pastor, Pastor Peter. I visited him last week up in the hospital in Kiev. He's very weak, has not been able to eat much. But he's found some doctors that think that they can operate on the tumor, but first they need to get his strength up. So they're giving him uh, food through IV, and uh, maybe uh, by the end of this week he'll be strong enough that they, they can do surgery. So pray for the doctors, pray for Peter and his family as well. All right, again, thank you for your prayers, and may God bless you.